Hey guys, welcome back, and this is going to be another Fallout 4 Legendary uh, gameplay. I hope you guys enjoy, and let's jump right into it. Pretty much all we have to do for this one, or it's going to be, it's not really a Legendary, but it's a full X01 Mark II armor set, and that's the best armor that you can get in the game, or the best power armor. So pretty much, you're going to want to come over to this place. This isn't the exact place, but uh, it's right next to it. It's called the Custom House Tower. There's a Pridwin if you're uh, farther into the game with the Brotherhood. There's a Diamond City. There's all that. So you just come here. You'll see this door right here. I'm using this weapon because I don't know why. I don't know what I did, but I can do 386 damage with it. So might as well go with it. It's really good. Yeah. It's not... It says I have like a stat, but that doesn't matter. So let's just... Go right into it. Yeah, you come right here. You're gonna turn left. There's gonna be some raiders, so I would come prepared. I should probably let me pop a stim pack quick or so, because I'm gonna have to fight something once we're up top. You're gonna have to fight a salt a saltatron and a sentry bot. So they're two really hard enemies. So you come over here. You see this green building, and that's where we're gonna want to go. And just walk over here. Come over to the side where it says court. 35 or 35 court it's gonna walk right in <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna let the game load take in a bit all right there we go now it's loading all right what we're gonna want to do is then once you come in here all these guys are already going to be dead, so you don't have to worry about this. I'll come raid them later, but uh, yeah, they'll only be dead. You come over here to the elevator and the elevator panel, and you go all the way up to the top floor. That's where it's going to get a little bit more tricky. Before, in the earlier updates, I knew, or I know that, like, when, once you saw the armor, it would be like a T-45, but once you got inside it, then it turned into the X-01, but I didn't have that problem. I think they might have fixed it in the patch update that they had, so, yeah. At least they did that. I'm going to turn my, down my game audio. There we go. It was too loud earlier. I come in here. And you're going to turn right, because that's the only way you can go. In here, there's a uh, there's a safe that you can go into. That's x word so yeah, go in there if you want. Come up here, and there's the door right there. Once you walk close to these, these are going to start beeping and stuff, flashing. And that's when uh, they're going to start coming out. You just want to come up. Somehow I can one-hit them, because of my uh, sword. But let's pop a stem pack. I'm about to die. They're gonna want to run from him because he explodes like a nuke. You can loot him because he has a lot of stuff and him, good stuff. All right. So what you pretty much do? You click this button where the assault drone came out. All right, I'm going to drop something so I'm not so heavy. I'll come back for this. There we go. We're going to run over here. Click this button. And then the store is going to open. Oh, yep. Yeah, the glitch just happened for me. It looks like a T45, but you see it's the X01 Mark II, the best power armor of the game. So we're just going to go into third person, enter it. So it looks like T45. And there we go. It just turned back into the normal one. And as you can see, now it's the best armor in the game that you can get. Alright, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to be getting out a lot of Fallout 4, playing with my friends and stuff on uh, different games. And just a lot of stuff like that. So anyways guys, thank you and goodbye.